Hi ladies and welcome to your daily Divine Feminine reading. Today we're going to be pulling from my favourite deck, as you know, the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So let's get into it. Spirit, please guide the Divine Feminines and aspiring Divine Feminines. Help us get clear, concise messages for our highest good and the highest good of all. Whoa! That is like five cards. I'm sorry ladies, but that's just not happening. One card at a time, please. Whoa! Again, that's like three cards. Spirit, may I have one card, please? Okay, Spirit says no. Okay, Spirit says no. Right, so Spirit's giving me two cards because what Spirit says goes, okay? And we have the void and we have trust. Okay, and creation at the bottom of the deck. Right, so the void. Some of us may, well, some of you may be feeling, I don't want to over-identify. Okay, some of you may be feeling like you got lipstick on your teeth. Anyway, some of you may be feeling that you're in a place where ugh, you just feel a bit low, okay? You feel like you are trying and you're trying and you're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, yet nothing tangible seems to be coming from all of your efforts, okay? That may be in... I, I'm actually... I, I'm vibrating that, that that feels like in every area, like... Maybe the job is a bit crap right now. It's not quite going to plan or that side hustle isn't quite going to plan. Your kids are not listening at this present moment in time. Or, you know, you might be out of alignment with your spouse or your friendship group. Like there is a void going on right now. And perfectly frank, one of the best ways to deal with the void is to do quite literally what she's doing. Embrace it. Embrace this dark period. OK, acknowledge every last feeling that you're feeling. Write it out. Journal it out. OK, journal it out feel it, it hurts, it hurts when you can't get, when it, when you, when it seemingly feels like it's not working out, but remember, okay, threads are being woven in the background, whenever we have a manifestation and it feels like it's not coming to fruition, it's coming to fruition, if you have put in the steps to, to manifest something and every single day, depending on obviously what you're actually manifesting, you, you have focused action and intention towards that thing, it's gonna happen, and sometimes it feels like it's not happening or on, you don't feel like it's happening on your timeline. Remember, spirit knows best, okay? There is such a thing as divine timing. And the void is that place of emptiness where you're pretty much going through the dark night of the soul. And weirdly enough, I've just come out of a period of the void where I just felt like, what the hell am I doing with my life? You know, I had moments where like it was it felt like extreme ups and extreme and extreme lows like like extreme highs and extreme lows like and I'm talking like it could be in a space of like an hour feeling like wow this is amazing I'm like quite literally living my dream and then I'll have an extreme low point where I'm like oh, what if I lose it all I'm going to tell you this you can't lose anything that's built on a solid foundation you can't lose anything that you have like it's the same thing, like, when you get your degree or whatever. Nobody can take that away from you, okay? Like, learning how to drive. Nobody can say, you know what, give me back your license unless you've done something illegal. I'm just talking about in general, okay? Don't overthink it. Like, nobody can take that away from you. The things that you have created for yourself, nobody can take away. You can't unread that book. You can't unhave that experience, okay? And... If you find yourself in a state where you're feeling like fearful about potentially like, what if, like, so, like touch, like, I don't even want to say it. Like, what if I lose a member of my family? What if somebody like, you know, kicks the bucket? Like, all of these fears, you have to address them. Why am I feeling that way? Why are you in the void right now? It's just feedback, okay? It's just feedback. And when you're in the void, you just need to just lay down and embrace those emotions. Cry out. Cry like you are quite literally an unhinged baby, I don't know, squirrel or something. And just cry. And cry and cry and cry and cry and cry some more until you quite literally, and I mean, you can't, like, quite literally couldn't squeeze out one more tear. Cry out. Embrace all those feelings and all of those frustrations, okay? And then... I mean, to be perfectly honest, you don't always, I don't always need to journal, okay? I can cry out and then quite literally meditate and centre. But however you do it, if you're the kind of person that needs to journal it out, journal it out, cry it out, and then just be like, oh, okay, cool. Whew, that was a, that was a pretty, you know, that was close. 
you know, that was that, you know, I was on the edge there. Okay, so sorry, I know that was a little bit long, but and then spirit wants you to just trust the process. Okay, this is you. Trust. They got you all like, oh, look at that. Look how safe you are. Okay, look how safe you are. Spirit saying to you that all is well. I promise you that there is no timeline that you should be on apart from this one right now. Okay, there's no timeline that is greater or better. You are right where you're supposed to be. You are right on time. Okay, trust that it's all going to work out because when you actually think about your life, it always does. It always works. Like it literally always works out. It always works out. I, I've never been in a situation where my life has crumbled to pieces that it hasn't brought me to somewhere better. I, and I can honestly say that with 100% certainty, okay? I have never been in a situation where things have gone down or the most terrible things have happened that haven't brought me somewhere better, okay? And I want you to remember those times. Spirit wants you to trust, okay? Spirit wants you to trust them. Trust me. I have your back. Trust me. You're protected. Trust me. Stop being afraid. Trust me. Walk with me. Have faith in me, okay? Every time you ask your ancestors for help or whatever, and then you start panicking and whatever, like, could you, like, it's a bit, it's a bit rude. It's like, I don't know, like if you've got kids or a spouse or whatever, like <laughs> you tell them something and then they're like, is that right? And you're like, hold on, I'm sorry, am I, am I not the parent? Or hold on, like, am I, am I not the expert? You know, like you, that, you know, you, you might be slightly in your ego, but you know what I mean, okay? It's offensive and spirit is no different, okay? Stop offending spirit, you're on the perfect timeline. If you're doing everything that you know you should be doing, then there's really nothing much more that can be said for it. You don't need to worry, okay? You just need to lean back and chill out. Embrace the void. You might need a solid day of crying it out. You might need a solid day of putting on literally chakra healing frequencies and you know that's my jam. I go on to YouTube. Sorry about that. That was my husband. Anywho, okay, what I was saying was, you know, it's my jam when I put, if I'm, if I'm in like a state of like, I'm not even kidding, I'm going through like a dark night of the soul. That YouTube seven chakra healings, like three hours long, I will listen to the whole thing. And quite literally, depending on what I'm called to do, I will either journal. I don't do that as often anymore because I'm quite in tune. I, I'll just perch. It means I'll cry, I'll cry out. And then, you know, I'll let the healing frequencies heal all of my chakras. And weirdly enough, after that, after that, I'm not even kidding. I'm like a whole new person with a whole new renewed, renewed belief system, a whole new renewed everything. Fear is gone. Doubt is gone. Shame is gone. Um, you know, just all gone. And then I'm like, right, I'm ready to take on the world. Okay, embrace it. You might need a day of... I don't know, just crying it out. Take the time, be in the void for a moment, embrace your feelings, you know, face your shadow, face, you know, do some shadow work, face your demons, okay? What are you really upset about? Why are you going through the dark night of the soul? Do you really think you can have it? Do you need to reassess your belief systems? Are you really, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you just need to reassess all of that, okay? And once you've done that, just trust spirit, okay? Spirit has your back, all is well, okay? Whoa, that was a long one. All right, ladies, until the next time. Sign up now to your free introduction to Shadow Work course.